Okay, here's how to get past the giant snake in Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. So pretty much just follow what I'm doing. Uh, make sure you grapple onto that branch when you jump. If you don't, you will take damage to your health. But the rest of the jumps are safe. And jump across here, grapple to the branch. Now this is where the snake appears. So what you have to do is hug this wall and just watch. All we're doing right now is waiting for the snake to have a little bit of a gander around the place. Then we're going to stop hugging the wall, jump across to that branch, and then immediately jump down to the leaves below. So jump across, grapple to the branch, and jump down to these leaves, and then crouch. So pretty much just don't move and stay crouched at this spot. The snake will come back and he'll look around. He'll make a couple of movements with his mouth that make you think you've been spotted and he's going to eat you, but you're safe so long as you stay still and crouch. All you have to do is wait. Eventually he'll look off to the left. When he does, you want to creep forward through the leaves until you're at the edge of the cliff, then jump off and grapple to the branch that you'll see down below. And once you grapple to that branch below, you want to hold your dodge button so that you sprint towards the cave opening. And you have to sprint. So okay, he's looking to the left now, jump and grapple, and then hold your dodge button and sp to sprint into this cave. Right, now you escaped his first attack at you. Now immediately run where I'm running now, and then you have to jump carefully across this spot here. Stay on the edge and crouch. He'll come in close, but he will miss you so long as you're right at the edge. All you're doing here is waiting for him to basically re return to where he came from. Then you want to move forward through the leaves to about the about here. You can go a bit further, but here's pretty good. He'll come back down. Now while he's down, move again through the leaves until you get pretty close to his body. Now you can go under his body if you wait and time it, or you can just wait here until he goes back. I'll try and go on. No. See, it's pretty safe to try that. Sometimes he'll hit you, but I don't think you'll really take any damage there. So once you get to this spot, just hug the wall and move all the way to... I like to stop at the final sheet of ice here. He, he can't see you through that at all. Pretty much just wait here while he looks around, and then he'll veer off to the left like that. Now you're good to go. So once he veers off to the left, run up to this uh, little shack thing, pa palaquin. Now here you just wait until his eye gets close and you get prompted to strike it. There it is, so strike it. Now immediately run to the cliff face and hug it to the right all the way to the top where you see that item. Now you're perfectly safe here to pick up this snap seed. You can read it as uh, to your heart's content. You're perfectly safe in this. Actually, once you click OK, hug the rock face again and run down to about here. Now you're perfectly safe at about this spot. He's gonna thrash around. So when you're ready, just take off. Now you're going to have to grapple as soon as you can. Grapple to that as soon as it gives you the prompt that you can. And then run to this little wall and stay here. As soon as he goes over it, jump up. And then jump and grapple to that prompt. And now you're through, no damage at all. And that's pretty much it. It's quite easy once you get a handle on it. There's a couple more grapple jumps here, so we'll go just as far as the, the next Sculptor Idol. You can do a bit of exploration in this little area first, but go to the Sculptor Idol and then you can come back and explore as, as much as you want. So there you go, you've made it to the Sculptor Idol after the snake. So like I said, you, there's a few areas and ledges here you can explore to get a couple of items. Hey, what's pretty cool is... Uh, you're covered in snake blood after stabbing him in the eye. It's a nice little effect there. So I'll move into the uh, light and you'll be able to see it better. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> nice effect. All right, that should be enough to help you guys out. I hope you get through without getting any damage at all. Bye for now.